Hello everyone. My name is Michael Gross and I'm the Solution Architect for Teradici in the EMEA region. Today I want to briefly talk with you about the different licensing models of Teradici's Cloud Access software. There's two different methods. There's method A, which is a cloud-based licensing, and method B, which is a localized and server-based licensing. Let's see how the cloud-based licensing works. Since we host the licensing for you in the cloud, there is no need for you to deploy another server. This eliminates complexity of your overall infrastructure and decreases management overhead. Your workstations only require internet access via TCP port 443. The registration code you will receive is going to look a little bit like this. The section before the add symbol represents your cloud license server instance containing a pool of licenses. The section after the add symbol represents your actual activation code and contains the license count and the expiration date of your licenses. If you're buying additional licenses, as you can see in our example below, you don't have to do anything. The pool of licenses will automatically increase according to the number of licenses you have purchased. In our example here, there are 160 available licenses and all workstations would use the same registration code. You can activate the licenses by entering the registration code during the installation and keep in mind that you can only enter a cloud licensing registration code in here by adding them to the agent via its control panel after the installation or via a PowerShell script inside the agent installation folder on the workstation itself. The command shown here is also available on Linux machines. You can run the command after you logged into the workstation via SSH. It is important to know that every time a connection is made to the workstation, the agent will call out to its provided cloud license of instance and check for valid licenses. And now let's see how the local licensing um, works. Now we will look at the online activation method. For this method, you have to set up another virtual machine in your environment based on CentOS 7 or 8. Once you've installed this machine, you can install the Teradici License Manager software. The machines that will retrieve a license from the license server won't require an active internet connection. Only your license server will require internet. The activation code you will receive is going to look a little bit like this. As you can see, the code looks similar to cloud licensing, but without the cloud instance and the add symbol. The code represents your actual activation code and contains the license count and the ending date of your licenses. If you're purchasing new licenses, you have to activate them again on the license server. The pool of licenses will then increase according to the number of licenses you purchased. You will activate the license on your license server via the CLI command shown on the slide. Dash A stands for your activation code and dash C stands for the license count that you want to activate. You can, for example, have two local license servers installed and have five licenses activated on each of them. Once you run the command, you will be also prompted to enter your license server administrator password that you need to authenticate. And once the license is activated, you have to tell the CAS agent on your workstation either via GPO or, or via the PCOIP agent.conf file the URL of your local license server. Now let's have a look at the offline activation method. This method is used in a completely locked down environment. We, we refer to this as a dark site. This means that no machines in a network have access to the internet. To activate the license here, you have some manual tasks to complete first. First, you run PCOIP get license server ID to get the license server's unique identifier. Then, you open up a support ticket with the ID of your license server and the activation code you received via mail. Our support team will activate the license for you in the Flexera backend. Our support team will then send you a response.bin file back. You have to copy this file back to your license server. Once you copied the file back to the license server, you have to activate the license with the following command. PCOIP dash activate dash offline dash license. You will use the parameter dash R and then you point the command to the directory of where you have copied the response.bin file. 
This process has to be done every time additional licenses are purchased and is considered the most complicated and time-consuming way of activating a license. And also, don't forget to point your workstation to the license of a URL, either via Microsoft Group Policies or via the configuration file on Linux workstations. I hope this cleared up some questions you guys might, uh, you guys might have. And please also check out the other videos from our Ask the Architect series to get some more useful information. Thank you. Bye-bye.